when we test for CVID, and of course, it's a, if someone uh, has diabetes and a history of sinusitis or frequent infections or frequent colds, you absolutely want to test for this. I'm testing all my patients for this. Uh, every new patient gets tested. But in addition to testing for the three immunoglobulins, we also get a blood smear for examination by a hematopathologist looking for blood malignancies because it seems that the most common malignancies that people with CVID get are uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, uh, leukemia, usually lymphocytic leukemia, um, and things that you can spot in the blood. So we get a blood smear from a finger stick. Um, we uh, also do something called immunofixation, which uh, is a way of finding uh, the products of blood cancers. Uh, if you have a lymphocyte family that has gone malignant, uh, they will make proteins that you can detect with immunofixation, giving you a clue to um, uh, the presence of this malignancy. So we do immunofixation, we look at IgG, IgA, IgM, and we look at a blood smear. And uh, that's how we make the initial diagnosis. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.